Hey Wicked Army, Wicked here and welcome to a Clash Royale episode. Today I want to show you guys a sneaky little strategy that I use when I have the normal minions and the free spell in my starting hand. So with the minions themselves, they usually get left alone. Like a lot of people ignore them and they don't really worry about them until you drop the freeze just before they die. And look how much damage it's doing on that right tower. And that's given me over 1000 HP head start leaving the enemy stump. So in the next replay that I'm going to show you, I'll show you that the uh, the enemy had the arrows in his hand and completely ignored those minions because usually they let a couple hits on their towers just to save elixir but putting that free spell down really really dominates that tower especially because those minions do a lot of damage for such a small unit. So. Um, that's my little sneaky strategy guys. I use that sometimes. A lot of people v will verse me now and probably know um, in my clan especially that I, I will do it now. I, I have done it in um, previous duels and it has given me a really good head start and you will see in this, uh, this matchup here that it was really vital for me to get that head start because this guy just starts spamming towers, um, teslas, everything under the sun to stop me from getting uh, to that tower. So. So we'll just go ahead with the rest of the raid here and you'll see why it was so crucial to get that head start. Um, especially these days in Royal um, Arena uh, and above, a lot of people have a lot of towers. I use them myself. Um, I use the Bomber Tower especially because I feel like it's a really good defense when you're using the Hog Freeze combination. Um, you need that defense at the end just in case that Hog Freeze doesn't work out on that side and the Bomb Tower there is waiting for the counter attack from the enemy. So as you can see here the splash damage is destroying um, any flimsy troops like the barbarians, um, the uh, the goblins or skeletons or anything like that that come my way. So he's got a poison spell right now uh, really killing off my uh, musketeer right there. So as you can see he is really working that um, right hand side and I can't get to that tower so it's really difficult and he keeps throwing that golem down uh, which is annoying. So Every time um, I get face uh, these kind of enemies, I really hoped that I had that minion head start at the beginning, so that I can um, defeat the enemy later on in the in the game. So here we go again. We're trying to push him. He's got all the builder, um, the goblin huts on his side, so it is kind of blocking my hog from getting there. So I'm destroying the goblin huts now. I've got a few hits on this right tower just before the hog dies. So now we're at 500 HP, so imagine if I didn't get that 1000 HP at the beginning, I would still be at 1500. So that really, that beginning was really key to getting this victory right here. So he keeps putting the golem down, he's got a lot of health points. Uh, my deck isn't really well suited to tackle uh, golems like that. I, I really need like an inferno or something. But look at that, boom! That clutch hog rider at the end to give me the victory. And here's the final replay guys, this is where I use the little sneaky strategy with the minions and the freeze at the very beginning and you'll see this guy completely ignores it, writes the minions off saying they're not really much of a threat that Archer Tower will get it. But now I put the freeze on and look how much damage I'm doing, he's even got arrows in his hand and not even doing anything about it. He didn't think the arrows was good enough to waste on those minions but in reality he should have used the arrows. Uh, because he now has lost over 1000 HP from the very beginning. So this is my little trick guys um, you, you probably don't have this combination in your deck But if you do and you see there's a little bit of a stalemate at the start Seeing who wants to deploy first if you have the minions and the free spell in your hand I would go ahead and deploy that and see what happens um, also, I sometimes use it a little bit early as soon as I get six elixir uh, that's when I kind of deploy it. So I get um, it takes three elixir for the minions and then four elixir uh, for the freeze spell. But the time the minions get there, you'll have the four elixir to drop that freeze. And usually the enemy kind of writes it off and waits for his elixir bar to go up um, before he attacks because they kind of ignore the minions, thinking they won't do that much damage. Um, and that archer tower will knock him down ASAP. Usually uh, there's only one, min one minion left um, by the time uh, they get a few hits on that tower. So that's probably why people ignore it. But I use it as an advantage 
it's a very sneaky little little tip that I got for you guys, and it has worked a lot for me um, up in Arena Seven and above. So, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, let me know if you guys have done it before. Um, it's just a cheap, easy way and sneaky way to get a, a thousand HP or even more. Sometimes I've done more. Uh, on a tower at the start. So here we go guys. I'm f versing a mortar and Tesla uh, This combination seems like it is very common um, These days a lot of people use it and people still use the expo So even though it's got a nerfed a few times and I imagine they're gonna nerf it again I I'm hoping so or even make it cost 11 elixir so it can't even be deployed how troll would that be? That would be the, like the best Easter um, prank ever, or maybe the April Fool's prank. That would be amazing if that actually happened, if they made it 11 elixir. So, um, <laughs> I think all the Expo users would be like, oh my god, I think I need to play a different game because I don't know how to play. Um, so, here we go, we've got a rush on the right tower, he's demolished most of it. I've got my um, Hog Rider there. As you can see, he's trying to block it very um, well with the, the Tesla and the Mortar. And it's really hard for me to get my hog rider over there sometimes but when i do i damage it a lot so there's 70 hp left i know i've got arrows i'm going to finish off with arrows and uh pr I'll give him a thumbs up for this um he's got the angry emote there so so the question from last question time is if you could invent something what would it be clash king says invent something for anti-aging or slow down the process dude guy says open new chess in clash royale at the perfect time that would pretty, be pretty handy actually Jason Abraham machine to stop time to watch all my videos now that's a pretty sweet comment dude thank you very much for that much appreciated and the question time for this episode is what is your favorite game at the moment Clash Royale or Clash of Clans or are you conflicted between the two let me know in the comments below hope you guys enjoyed that make sure you smack that like button subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'll see you guys next episode later guys